So university teaching has gone online, but university timetabling has very much remained the same. So you have two hours on a Tuesday to teach uh, a class to your first year students and you might have three hours on a Thursday um, where you're scheduled to teach your final year students. And a question, a real challenge for lecturers who are now being pushed into the online space where they would have been face to face before is what do you do with that time? I've, I've spoken to colleagues recently who have said to me, you know, manager of, of people that are teaching um, a variety of class sizes of students, that basically a lot of teaching staff are using that time to lecture. So they will talk to their students for two hours. However, uh, I think I really have to challenge and I think everyone has to really consider whether that is the best way to engage your students. Even the most engaging, enjoyable lecturer can be hard to follow when you're staring at a small box on a screen for two hours. They can be hard to follow when you're following someone in a classroom in a lecture theatre for two hours and, and educational research has shown us for a long time that attention spans tend to be about 15-20 minutes before they start dropping off. So what are the other possibilities? And I think this is where we really need to start thinking about what do you want your students to do in that time rather than what do you want to say to your students? How can you break up that time into a series of activities? And the challenge is to start planning the time based not on what are the topics you are going to cover, what are the slides you're going to use, but what are the steps and stages you want your students to go through in order to achieve the learning outcomes for your module, for that week, for that lesson. Now, part of what you want them to do is to listen to you because you can explain something to them, but I would always challenge teachers to think about, well, what value do you add? What is it that you can bring that's not already available in other secondary resources? What's not in the textbook? What's not online? What's not in the journals that you can give to the students? What is the um, insight you can give? What is the really naughty subject that you can explain better? You know that the penny will drop after students get it from you. Or, or are you going to exemplify things? Is it the storytelling that we bring as lecturers that helps bring the subject to life? And that can be done in short bursts, interspersed with the things that you ask your students to do. Are you going to ask them to do things individually? Are you going to get them to do things as a whole class? Or are you going to use the technologies and break them into breakout rooms, give them tasks to do, questions to answer, problems to solve? Also, you're delivering via the virtual learning environment. And actually, there's the opportunity to structure learning across the student's week, across the student's month, individually, in pairs, in small groups, as a whole class that can help them prepare for the things that you want them to do in that two hour slot on a Tuesday.